Exports and Imports. Sounds like an economics video about GDP. If you're looking for GDP, unfortunately, sorry, this is not the video for you. But I will be covering importing and exporting Jared tickets. In that case, you're in the right place. If you like this content, please subscribe on YouTube. Please like this video. Let's ship our way into this video now. First, let's just figure out how to get there. This is one way. There's another way to get there as well on the filters. We're gonna go issues on the left-hand side in your project. You can see here, I have a list of issues in my project. Epics are in here as well. There's some subtasks. So the first thing we're gonna do here is down select what fields we need for this export to import into the next project. There's a lot of fields that can be exported here. The big thing is understanding what fields you want to take over to the new project. What I did is I already selected some of the things that are going to be needed, at least at a minimum. There's one item that's not showing. You can see here, there's some issues here with importing all the fields. I'm going to go to this, which is the same thing as going to advanced search. It's just so I can get description in it as well. You can see here, now I have description in here. I have my summary, I have my issue type. Also have a status. Parent link is missing because this is a team managed project. We're gonna see the differences between the team and company managed while importing. There are some nuances that you need to know while you're doing this, depending on what you're importing this to. Because the epic name is missing as well. This is because for team managed projects, this does not show up as a field. But I have everything I need here. I'm gonna take the next step here, which is exporting. I'm gonna export. And you see there's a lot of options here depending on what your use case is. I'm gonna export with CSV. And also I'm gonna do instead of all fields, I'm gonna do my default fields. If you do all fields, it could be 25, 50, 100 fields in the back end where you have to update and remove in order to import smoothly, we'll call it, because it takes more time. You can do it though, but I'm gonna export my defaults after I have selected the fields that I want to see. Remember how to select these. We go back to the columns here, top right hand corner, and you select which ones you want. See by just clicking on here. Just wanna make sure we know how to do that and put pressing done is important as well. Everything I need, I'm gonna export, do my defaults, CSV. Cool, download it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is start editing this file. What I'm gonna do now is take that exported CSV and I'm gonna copy it into a Google Sheets. You can use this on Excel, whatever processor you wanna use. What I'm gonna do here is make it easier for me to import this as we're mapping the fields down in a later step. So I copied all the fields in here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do some edits here that's gonna help out later on when we're importing them. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some more fields. I'm also gonna delete some epic, epic name not gonna need at this level here. Also gonna create a couple more fields here. We're gonna create issue ID, first one, issue ID. We're also gonna create parent ID. I'm gonna create epic name. And I'm gonna switch this parent summary field as well to epic link. This right here is parent field, not gonna be needed. I'm gonna delete this as well. Okay. So now we're ready to continue here. We got some new fields here. Again, this is gonna help you out later. The first thing I'm gonna do is all the epics, issue types epics. I'm gonna copy this summary over into the epic name. So we got one epic there, another epic here, as well as another epic here. First thing I'm gonna do. The second thing I'm gonna do is remove epic link from my epics and my subtasks. 
So I to subtask here, I'm gonna delete that. And then these epics, they shouldn't have anything here. That looks good to me. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Now what I'm gonna do is also the linking subtasks to the user stories. I know that this subtask goes to this user story. You should know which one does as well. I'm gonna give a unique identifier to this story, call it one. And we're gonna give a unique identifier for this two and three. And then I'm gonna put the parent ID of the story that relates to the subtask in the parent ID column, as you can see here. So now I have some linkages here, and this is only used for subtasks and stories, or if you have different related stories with each other, like linking linkages and things like that that you can add. So there is a couple more things I'm gonna do here. For one thing, unfortunately, statuses and carry over to their project. You're gonna replace all the to-dos with just something that we can import, replace all. See, so you're just making it one word, makes it easier. We're gonna make this a label. So now, looks like I have everything, looks good now. Uh, there's one more thing I wanna do here, is I also want to make sure that the ordering of this is correct for import. So I'm gonna create a filter, and then what I'm gonna do is sort, let's see, maybe sort A to Z. That's perfect. The biggest thing here is that the epics are above all the stories, and the same thing for the subtasks. This issue, this story has to be above vertically than these subtasks, otherwise there'll be some issues. Looks like I have everything looks good now. I think I'm ready to import. What I'm gonna do is download this CSV file. I'm gonna go back to the import tool. We're going back here. Now we're gonna import. So this is a, I think we're in the company or the team managed project right now. We're in the team managed project. Yeah, I wanna to convert to a company managed project. In the right hand corner here, there is some options to import CSV issues of CSV. I'm gonna select that. Then I'm gonna choose file, choose this one I just created. And then there is an option to use a configuration file. What this means is that you can skip the next step, which is mapping the fields. You can see here, here's the workflow of this. You can skip one of these steps if you have that configuration file. So you're doing a one-time upload, no worries. You don't need the configuration file. If you're doing this repetitively, I would create a configuration file. It'll save you time in the long run. So I exported that from the team managed project and I want to do import it a company managed project. I'm going to put next. This is mapping the fields. So this is the same fields that you should have in the file. I want to map the description to the Jira field description. This checkbox here is for if you want to review this before you import them. I think this is a good practice to do just in case there are some errors you can check. I'm going to do that. Epic link. I'm going to go map all of these because I've already down selected all of those fields from the issues navigator. It's important. Otherwise, you'll have 50. 25, 50 fields here that you have to map or figure out if you map them or not. So that's why it's important to down select from the, the filter view. So I'm gonna map all these. And then status, remember, you cannot import status. You can see here what you can map if you wanna take a look on your own. For this one, I'm gonna put this as a label. Then summary, perfect. Looks like I'm all good. So I'm gonna put next. Looking through this, just a way to check to making sure the fields are gonna map correctly. You can see here that this one says map as is, which is weird because it says subtask. When you go to this drop down menu, there's a hyphen in between sub and task. That can have an import error. Good thing we caught it here. Go through all of these. Again, that little checkbox gives you this prompt for each one of these. So if you don't wanna look at that, or if you have the configuration file, you know, this step would not be needed or you can pass this step. Let's go to validate. 
It looks like 21 of my issues will be correctly imported. Two will not because of errors. And it found some fatal error to import. Parent issue cannot be null. I'm gonna go ahead and just import them just to see what happens. Formatting is important. So we have some empty space or even some formatting in cells that are not even in the ones that are being used. It will throw an error as well. You can see here that 23 issues are imported successfully, which is the full list I had. Again, there's some errors sometimes that pop up. I'll be very careful on the formatting in, of your import file. Let's check the created issues to see if they're imported correctly. You can see, yep, looks like we have them all here. We have the subtasks here and then under this child, which is good. This looks correct. We also have all of our user stories here as well. So we imported everything. It looks like they're all linked to as well. You can see all these epics that are linked. Good, this is imported to a company managed project. Last thing we'd have to do here to bulk change all issues. And what you would do here is bulk change all the issues in done, label done, to move them through the workflow into done. That's the only way you can move these. If these were done in the previous project, if you're having brand new project or you're creating brand new Epic and user stories and you're converting them, no issues here. You can start start working on the stories and Epics you just imported. That'll be in another video of bulk changing. One thing I want to show you, this is company managed. There is a little nuance for the team managed one. So let's go to a team managed project. Let's do the same steps. So I'm in a team managed project. Again, it doesn't matter that much because when you import, you can pick from any of the projects here. But I wanted to kind of show you a nuance here that for team manager is a little bit different. And what that is, is the Epic link. So I'm gonna go through the same file again, fast forward this as well, just so we don't have to go through the same thing, but I'm gonna pick a team managed project. Same thing here, the mapping, I'm gonna map them all here. This is where it gets tricky, Epic link. There is no Epic link here in team managed project that you can't. So what you do here instead, you just put labels. So we're gonna put a label there and we're not gonna map this field because it doesn't matter. There is no Epic name. As you can see, there's no Epic name. It's the only difference than company and team manage. So basically what you would do is you'd have two labels, right? You would have the status here as a label and you would have the other label as well. And what you would end up doing is you would end up bulk changing all the all the issues, but everything else should work out the same. So issue type, issue ID, every all the subtasks can be imported, and then epic name is not gonna, we're not gonna map that field. But you can see here, important that you have all same as before. And then, like I said, you would have to do a bulk change, and I'll put that in another video of changing the status and also the epic linked, right? You can't do that within team managed. I'll validate again, you can just, just for purposes of this video, same thing came up, I'm gonna begin import still. 23 successful, great, great issues. You can see now, this is a team managed now, I, have more labels here, which would just be more bulk changing, but you can add the Epic in after as well as what part of the workflow it was before, before the import into the new project. Please let me know how your importing is going. Now this is a frustrating, could be frustrating because there's little changes can impact that import. Once you do it though, it's powerful. Let me know how you've used import and export before within your teams. Have you have any issues, frustrations, like to discuss in the comments below.